Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to VR Master League and welcome back to the Quest 2 Rookie Cup. Day 2 of this Rookie Cup. I'm Palador, uh, being joined by Sir Dimwi on the cast. And how's it going, Dimwi? Excellent. I am I am ready to go here to 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 uh, get on between uh, five guys and underrated rookies here uh, for this. Uh, it's, a, it's a lower bracket game. We're not quite to the semis. Uh, we actually have a, a few rounds to do today. And uh, hopefully we will do that uh, with no delay. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is a, it is an elimination game. Uh, and in, uh, so, so the team that loses here is done for the day. They are done, they are out of the tournament. Uh, and uh, we're not even to the uh, the bronze match yet. So uh, it would be no prizes awarded as well. So uh, yeah, a lot on the line here for uh, both these teams. It's basically, if you lose now, that's, uh, that, that's basically just the midnight hour, right? Or the 13th hour, which was one of the themes yesterday, where just so close to the brink of victory and uh, or at least finalizing um, in the in the prize in the in the prize zone uh, there for the top three obviously uh, prizes provided by Asterion products which uh, we love and especially Dimwi as we know from yesterday completely loves Asterion products and their oh, accessories for VR and uh, yeah of course glad to have them as a sponsor of this cup and of a uh, VRML now as of recently so that's great to, to have them on board as well as of course VR community builders uh, from Hasco and Nada uh, running that ship over there tightly and, and really doing a great job to help enable events like this happen uh, for the community. So very grateful to VR community builders for that. Absolutely, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, both both these companies contributing to the uh, the, the prizes, uh, first place, second place, third place. There, you can see them on the screen. Uh, you got the charging stands from Asterion for first place. Also, that uh, mouse pad from VR community builders. Second place, you got those uh, those awesome touch controller skins. Uh, and a, or a twenty dollar uh, gift card, uh, presumably because uh, or store credit, excuse me, presumably because they don't have them uh, yet made for the Quest Two. But once they're made for the Quest Two, uh, I, I'll just say it's worth the wait. It's uh, for me. For me, it's definitely going to be worth the wait. Uh, also, getting that uh, uh, the uh, uh, excuse me, Discord Nitro from VR Community Builders for second place there. The third place, uh, the touch controller skins or the uh, the twenty dollar uh, store credit again, presumably because uh, the skins aren't yet available for the Quest Two. And again, definitely, definitely worth the wait there. Oh yeah, and you mentioned that quest or the uh, Discord uh, credit, the color, and the the nitro as well. On that note, go join the Echo Games Discord for anyone here who, for some reason, isn't. I'm sure any competitors uh, obviously are, but you know, for anyone watching this live or in VOD and are curious about Echo, curious about League, go check out Discord.gg/Echo Games. It's 20,000 strong now in that community, uh, and you can find links to all the other relevant places through there. Uh, including the VRML server and what have you uh, for Echo VR. But yeah, there's the community bursting at the seams this year. And if you should be a part of it if you're not already. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, is that a, is that a trumpet? That's a trumpet. It's, it's, it's a thunder. It's a, it's a thunder. <laughs> it, it, oh, <laughs> I didn't have the camera. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I was like, "What's he talking about thunder?" I was like, "I was thinking, is he hearing a thunderstorm out of? Is that what he's talking about? Are we talking about different things?" But no, I, I get it. Now. I saw. I saw uh, where your camera was. <laughs> be, be calm. Be most calm, didn't we? It's, it's just a drifting thunder. That's all. A drifting thunder. Yeah, these teams are at least very lightful. I, I guess, lighthearted. You know. Server. Much yeah, ease are my puns today, EU? Like, what is going Tammy. On? Anyway, <laughs> hopefully we start soon. <laughs> hopefully, uh, teams have been, have been informed to uh, start as soon as possible. They said they will start in a minute, and uh, so we are waiting for that minute to get going here. I see a lot of voice, uh, a lot of names in chat already. We got a uh, uh, Cordage BTW stopping in, Echo Arena Cosmic. Uh, Wolf, he played, uh, I, I saw Wolf playing yesterday. Uh, I'm not sure if he's playing today. Wolf, you playing today? Uh, I hope so. Uh, also, Rising the Dead, it's, uh, a very dark name. And uh, Polo21, or po uh, maybe, you know, that could be a, you can see it as a dark name or a very, very light name, very positive name, you know, depending on how you take it. Anyways, we don't have to get it. And uh, Cordage VTW saying, what's up, Dimwi and Pally? What's up, man? How you doing today? I'm doing good. Wouldn't be, uh, I would be lying if I said I wasn't a bit frantic right now, just waking up into some of these streams. But 
Uh, it's, it's, it's almost a good anxiousness because we got some good matches uh, f coming forward today. We saw yesterday, especially in the latter half of those streams, as you know, you go through those brackets, the matchups by design, they get better and better, more competitive, and, uh, especially as the teams kind of fall into place against each other. And we saw some stellar matches. Uh, for those who didn't tune in in day one, we had an overtime game. We had a double overtime game. We had some round threes. We had high scoring. We had low scoring, but super competitive and defensive ones. I mean, it was uh, pretty nuts from a competitive standpoint. <laughs> do you have the mom muted right now? I do. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> Oh goodness! Yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Clearly, uh, uh, teams are being uh, encouraged to start. <laughs> that they are. <laughs> Very much so. I'm sorry. That just caught me off guard. That really <laughs> caught me off guard. I was. I was. I... <laughs> All right. Well, okay, that said, right. on guard, didn't we? On guard. <laughs> as someone in the game says, finally. <laughs> I concur. All right. I need. I'm sorry. I needed that laugh to start my day. I needed that. All right. Let's go. Let's get. Yeah. Let's get going here. Let's get to it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Quest Two Rookie Cup, sponsored by VR Community Builders, as well as Asterion Products. And here we go, getting it on into the arena. Uh, five guys on orange, underrated rookies 2.0 on blue. Yeah, five guys picking up that joust victory there, sending this one in, dumping it into that corner there, but it's going to be most calm, picking that one up, most calm, sending that one down to Lightful. Light, uh, actually, light, is it Lightful or Lightful? You know what I mean? Lightful or Lightful? I don't know, but that one gets cleared out of that zone through mid. Sounded the same to me. The five guys, <laughs> five guys. Well, and pull, pull, and pull, you know? Like, uh, like, anyways. Like Wolf and Wolf? 23. <sighs> I hope that sigh came through. Open Gangnam style. Okay. All right, so in any case, uh, that boost is gonna actually be just a little bit misaligned, but still grabbing it and making it. It's calm, Ooh. in a most calm fashion, considering the defense all up in the face. Yeah, he had uh, two defenders right in front of him. He actually got a stun off on one of them right after he sent that shot in. I thought it was he who got stunned out. I thought most calm was stunned out, but no, he got a stun off and got away free. So that was a good goal there uh, to start this one. One minute in, underrated rookies 2.0 are going to take a two-point lead as uh, Unsound handles this one here for five guys. Yeah, 2.0, and it's 2-0, to oh, and... Uh, really calm up the floor is unsound, just waiting for the play to kind of develop. But that said, nice closure from Lightful right in the passing lanes. Uh, I heard these teams actually before we started as well mentioning uh, one of the things they can improve on is uh, the passing lanes and, and capitalizing on those as they try to get a shooting lane. But unsound was there for the rebound and recovery now as uh, JC3 Live, who had a really uh, great showing yesterday. Yeah, no, it's going to be JC3 Live once again, getting that one cleared out, a solid clear. That one's going to make its way into that trench there over on the underrated rookie zone. As a bit of a race for it there, it will be Lightful getting there first, sending that one back as he gets stunned out, does get to a teammate there that's most calm, picking that one up on the far side, most calm, clearing that one out through mid, but right there in the hands of Chaos Kai. Chaos Kai clearing this one back, and, you know, I used to use a stage name, Kai Keller. And you can actually look it up. I made some uh, weird electronic music, but yeah, the <laughs> Chaos Kai reminds me of, uh, of that short time in my life. Yeah, well, that, I'm going to look it up later for sure. Uh, these teams at the moment trying to make some music of their own, which is to say they want to hear that guitar riff on a score if they can. There's Munchies over uh, oh up my. top with a, with a disc. And again, the patience, I really like seeing it here. And, uh, oh, by the way, shout out and thank you to T-Tau Gaming, who had a great uh, game set of games yesterday, for the subscription, Prime Gaming. Appreciate that oh, yeah. very much. 100%. Thank you very much for that one, T-Tau. As uh, we'll be most calm with another opportunity, docking the defender, bringing that one in on the goalie, planting that one in for the two. And three minutes in, underrated rookies 2.0 are going to take a four-point lead. And it looks like perhaps, uh, who was that, Spyoon, I believe, may have gotten a hand on that. Uh, Still couldn't quite get the save credit, unfortunately. Although, for those you who know, might have been paying attention, there's some goalie uh, advantage changes coming in terms of uh, ping <laughs> and things like that soon. I get called Boomer a lot, but you just you just you just pronounce that name Spyoon. Like, come on, man, that's Spoon. Come on, man. I'm sorry. It's like, it's, 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 it's a it's the like Keel. Like Keel. You know, it's Spoon. You know what I was? 
I was thinking one spy from TF2, one of my favorite characters, and two. That's fair. Pigoon or Pigeon, as I like to call him, who's a old old time uh, Echo player, who people may or may not remember. But in any case, here we go. You know Back what? to the blue I side. Probably, I was I was probably the one who got it wrong there. It's probably Spion, but I'm gonna call him Spion well, for that, now because uh, I, I don't know. That's that's how I, that's how I read it. I believed you. I, I could I could definitely buy Spion being the the name. So that's a good question. We'll have to have that answered uh, sometime later, I guess. Also reminds me of uh, Harry Potter Spew, uh, the the uh, Hermione's little uh, social. Social cause. Anyways, this one's gonna get cleared into the five guys down there. So Unsound picks that one up. Unsound. Oh, right in the hands of Machise there. Machise getting a good grab on that one. Good placement, sending that one across. Great pass. Uh, I mean, the, the 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 decision to pass there, where he was intending to send it, uh, was it was it was the correct decision. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite on the mark. But Machise holding down that back line, sending that one back in. But Chaos Kai getting the grab there. Chaos Kai trying to track, send that one out. It bounces off the stacks there. Chaos Kai gonna get it right back. Cleared all the way out now, all the way down into the underrated rookies 2.0 zone into their bubble. Who's gonna get there first? We got a proper race for it. Oh, it's gonna be most calm at the last second. Pick that one up and clearing it, but they're right in the hands of Chaos Kai. And right back to uh, most calm. So some hot potato forming here and monkey in the middle perhaps as well. Just all kinds of games as they try to get this chaos a little bit situated and find their uh, kind of their settle here and to find the rhythm because yeah right now it's really crazy low scoring granted but that disc is just all over the place as hold on much cheese with uh, some expelliarmus dim we nice. to that yeah no, that was uh, that was fantastic I mean that's one of those you know when you see the disc uh, uh, bouncing around in the bubble and, and you've got a f you've, you've got your lane you've got room you're moving in you know there's defenders around and you're just hoping that bounce goes to the right place and it does and you can get there first and you can get that easy tap in that feels good now underrated rookies up by six and now working up the floor is five guys still yet to score uh, but trying to make something happen there. The pass a, a bit strong, so going to be tough on the catch, especially with Thunder Drifter indeed drifting out of the goal, but uh, just unable to get the clear. So JC3 Live, who was a very dangerous player yesterday while getting stunned and a, a bit of knuckleball being played here today as it goes back and forward across the arena. And uh, yeah, again, the I think the passing game, the first team who can start just slowing it down and connecting on a few of these passes uh, should be good for the remainder of this round, I would think, uh, because really, with only six points, disadvantage for uh, five guys, it, it's still anywhere in the air for a recovery on an uh, underrated side. Oh, absolutely. I mean, excuse me. I, I got something in my throat. <laughs> it's just not going away. But uh, no, yeah, it, it, there's definitely uh, plenty of time here. Three and a half minutes. It's only, I mean, hypothetically, a two goal game uh, if they're both three. So yeah, it's still within reach here for five guys. Uh, as it's now going to be in the hands of Machise there on the far side. Machise getting stunned out, but right after he sends that pass over there to Lightful. Lightful trying to get it to Most Calm. Most Calm trying to track it down. Does. Under some pressure. Gets a good duck there. Nice. Trying to send that out, but Chaos Kai with a fantastic grab there. Getting it cleared back into the bubble there. Uh, gets by the goalie, so it's going to be a little bit of a race for this one. It will be picked up there by JC3. JC3, <laughs> long shot. Very ambitious, but goes a little bit wide and now bouncing far out of the bubble. I thought that was going to be in, too. It looked uh, decent from my angle. It was definitely yes, strong. That said, uh, a shot there might be a bouncer, but recovered by Thunder Drifter. And, uh, oh, speaking of the man, shout out to Wolf oh, for, uh, on Twitch for the Prime subscription as well. So must have uh, heard the, the call of the casters, the Wolf's call, that is. And thank you for joining and uh, for subscribing here on Twitch, as well as uh, Ari Bella for the follow. Yeah, always, always appreciate those 100%. Uh, thank you, Wolf. Is Thunder Drifter getting a hand on that one in the bubble? Got to clear it out. Takes a bounce off that uh, the Geo there. Bouncing Ooh. into the far side trap. Chaos Ooh. kind of trying to get... Oh, that's three <laughs> players barely missing it there. Now a bit of a race for it. JC3 comes away with it. JC3 just going to chuck this one in. And uh, most calm there. Handling that one fairly easy. Going to get a good clear there all the way down. That's going to make... Ooh, hits his, uh, excuse me, hits that Pac-Man block. You know, bouncing near to the bubble... Uh, where three of those orange players are going to converge on it, and JC3 sending that one away. All right, so up to the top of the uh, ceiling here in the cloud area, back to the double, most calm with the disc. See three different players, actually, for five guys all uh, outside of that bubble trying to press hard on the defense. And uh, with some mishandling here on the disc, it's going to be a much tighter situation as Light tries to find his teammate, but much too, well, not Delight. Uh, he's going to lose a disc, and that's going to uh -oh. be a three-point, uh -oh. and it just misses. That's very close, uh, but most calm now secures it for a moment, but another rugged clear. Yeah, that was uh, 
That was close. That one hurts to see because you know he saw that lane. He saw that shot. He saw it going in and it oh, just barely not. But uh, now picked up by Lightful and then right there in the hands of Unsound. Unsound, ooh, off of the head of Machise. Good slap there by the teammate. Going to go down towards the bubble, but goalie coming out there. That's Thunder Drifter. Playing that one with no problem. Going to walk this one up a little bit. Nice little juke there to get away from one defender. Didn't see the other one. JC3 with a good stun. Picks that one up, and he's going to get stunned out. Then another stun. So on sound, coming away with that one. On sound now with it. Going to send this one up to Nesto to JC3. Good communication. Good pass. Ooh. Better save. Thunder Drifter. What, what a hand on that one. And now Chaos Kai sending this one back in. Yeah, got to love that from Thunder Drifter defensive sifter and sending it over to jc3 uh, trying to get the offense going uh, for this team they were a high score yesterday oh, no. th these were one of the teams as thunder gets another one but five guys were one of the teams yesterday i believe who uh, were hitting those those 20 point scoring marks but zero points after 10 minutes here so still warming up yeah, this is uh, uh, the the defense from underrated rookies has been incredible here. You know, I kind of I want to look up also uh, as we count down to the end of the round here. Uh, uh, yeah, possession time actually favoring underrated rookies uh, by uh, by about twenty seconds. But ten seconds away, this will be round one to uh, the aforementioned underrated rookies. As this clear doesn't quite get out, uh, finds its way into the trap. Machise touches it. Thunder Drifter touches it. Chaos Kai gonna come come away with it. Clear that one out as we count down to the end of the round. And uh, yeah, I, I gotta look at the stats here because uh, yeah, the saves. Three saves to Thunder Drifter, two saves to Most Calm. And uh, those those saves are the difference maker in this one. Oh yeah, you know it. Uh, I mean, I was ta talking about, you know, having five guys getting warmed up still, but you're right, I cannot discredit the defense either. It's not just a case of uh, purely one team not being you know, warm necessarily. It's also a case of the other team being well, Swarm, or Swarm Ming, I should say, on the defensive end and, and getting those grabs, those saves, definitely an important thing. A, a momentum builder for your team, a momentum killer for the others. So it does uh, basically good things in both directions there. Yeah, I mean, that was just, that I, underrated rookies did exceptionally well in that game. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's, uh, it's one of those things where, you know, you can do, you can do a lot as a coach in teaching uh, team chemistry because both of these teams have that chemistry. They're both, uh, you know, they, they both have really good passing formations. They both have, uh, you know, really good, excuse me, defensive setups. They know they're, they're getting to the bubble. They're not leaving their goals open. But, you know, it, there's also there's only so much you can teach as a coach, and it, and a lot of that, a lot of what actually happens on the field comes down to your individual playing and just how what we've seen in goal, how good. They have been in goal. You know, that's the sort of thing. You can tell someone how to be how to be better, but you can't tell someone how to be, teach someone how to be that good. These guys have been that good so far in this game. Oh, yeah. And, of course, Bears mentioning, again, underrated rookies, the champions from the first Rookie Cup way back in May. That is to say, under, underrated rookies 1.0. Uh, being coached here is 2.0 by Tammy, who was uh, you know, part of that original underrated rookies team. And uh, then in the rookie uh, finals, Championships for VRML. It was underrated rookies coming in uh, second place uh, to Ding. So this is a, a team, you know, name their namesake means a lot here and just their uh, short tenure in Echo Arena as rookies and now going to their next season as sophomores and, you know, trying to, I guess, uh, build up this new generation again of players, this next generation of Quest 2 players, that is. Yeah, and also worthy of note, Tammy is actually standing in for uh, It's Yellow Man uh, right now. Yellow couldn't make it on time uh, oh, yeah, until yeah, for the start of this. So yeah, Tammy is uh, is uh, stepped in for yellow. So it just tells you, even though uh, underrated rookies, the team, the original team, has since broken up. That is, it's clear. I mean, they're still friends. They're still in communication. They're still working together, and uh, we see that here. That's I mean, that's that's the sort of thing. Just because the team breaks up doesn't mean they're not working together anymore, and uh, they still contribute to the community. Nice stop there, though. Thunder Drifter with the challenge. That's my kind of goalie play right there. Man, just call him Thor, because he is a god of thunder right now. And uh, Unsound found the disc, though, getting it right back through the tunnel. And it's going to bounce around a little bit. You can hear brawls going off in the back line. This is going to enable Most Calm for a, well, again, Most Calm retrieval. No, no problem. Very patient with it now as uh, his teammates so just space out the floor. Yeah, Most Calm, look at the patience here. I mean, this is really... 
He, he forced JC3 live to come to him. He forced that move and look at what happens. They wow. get the one on one and McCheese hitting it for the three. And that's our first goal around two, two minutes in. Oh, that was that was so good. Firstly, on most calm spot, you can even see on the camera at the time, most calm literally directing traffic. Now I have the comms currently muted just uh, you know, so I don't have 10 players all up in my ear, but uh, you could see physically the waving of the arms to direct where the players went. So was very patient with it, then brought it up the floor and then found the pass for a great connection through that narrow open window on the goalie. I mean, just great recognition. Oh, and JC3 Live there held on for just a little bit too long. That right there may have been a lack of communication as it finds the hands of, uh, I believe that was, yeah, Machiz with that steal, sending it into the zone. Now, uh, Lightful picking it up, sending it towards the goal, quite a bit wide. And it will be Chaos Kai picking that one up. Chaos Kai looking for a clear, almost getting out, hits just the tip of the top of the stacks there, and now bounces back into the zone. And that's, you know, that's one of the dangers of, of the clear. If, you, if it's not, you know, if you're not hitting the open spots, you see it again there, it'll bounce right back to you. Yeah, absolutely. And those clears and a lot of these bounces really have been a factor the, the last 13 minutes of play going back to the first round. So, you know, that first score of this round was great on the passing end of things. Want to see more of that, especially from five guys who remain scoreless in this match thus far. But we know that can change on a dime, especially uh, with what we saw yesterday from them. Yeah, now it's going to be JC3 live. Ambitious shot there. That's one of those. I, you know, he's, he, I could, he's saying I had to, I had to. But uh, I don't. when there's a goalie in goal, that's a, a little too ambitious, I would say. Uh, certainly didn't have to. Oh, right oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh. oh, my goodness. Again, uh, ambitious is the right word. But that time, that time just saw that sliver of hope. And, well, you know the rest on that one. It's a tied up game, didn't we? Well, you notice, you notice in that one, no goal in the goal. Yeah. And uh, so both ambitious with that one. Uh, uh, if if you were to say I had to, I had to. I would have. Uh, I would have let you off on that one. Because uh, yeah, that was an open lane. That was a, yeah. God, that was such a beautiful goal. And they're tied up now. Uh, I believe it was also five guys' first goal of the game. Yeah. It, it, uh, it so was. you know maybe something they can build off of here moving forward. Oh, absolutely. That that those kind of shots can be exactly what you need. Uh, absolutely, uh, to just get the, men uh, the positive mentality that is, and you know, uh, breaking that seal on the scoring end of things is all you need. Oftentimes, you'll you'll see that team score again uh, rather quickly after they break a drought. So I'm kind of anticipating that here. I'm not saying it will happen, but you'd be surprised at how high percentage of a time that it does. And we shall see if Caster's curse is real as JC3 tries to wheel and deal right into the goal with some patience. What the exclamation on the punch? Yeah, he was, he was trying there. He's trying to get around that defense. He saw he saw some some open space there, uh, but they were able to catch up to him. Now, flat bounce off the bat wall. That's dangerous, and Lightfall's going to capitalize. He's going to hit that for the two, and it's now a 5-3 game. Underrated rookies 2.0, up by two, halfway through round two. Lots of twos. Absolutely, too true. Uh, so, narrow lead, just about exactly halfway through this round now. And, of course... If underrated rookies win this one, they're moving on here in the lower brackets and uh, will complete a sweep. But five guys trying to deny just that because elimination, again, is on the line here. If they lose right now, uh, they will be done for this tournament, this two-day event. So it's a really interesting uh, rollout we, we saw there as they came out of the tubes. You had the uh, quarterback went straight out like usual, and then the, the uh, uh, they had a goalie come out, throw himself straight down towards the boot, and then the other two players launched off of him towards that right tube. It was a very interesting rollout. Oh, my. Oh, that shot. Ooh. Uh, that was that was uh, ambitious. That was the right time to do it, though. Goal was open. He had the land. Ooh, and there's a nice deal by JC3. Picking the pocket. Got to get this one cleared out. But they're right in the hands of Thunder Drifter. Thunder Drifter. Ooh. Mishandles it. Disc is loose. Unsound trying to get there. It's going to be JC3 picking it up. JC3 with that clear all the way down into the, uh, the Sky Trench. And now bouncing to the far side wall as a Machise trying to track it down, but that chain gets there first. JC3, JC3 with a move off a headbutt and Thunder Drifter with the grab, sending it away. Yeah, and doing the right thing there to get some boosts immediately for underrated rookies. Uh, unfortunately, there were some midfielders there, so now they're going to have to recover. And now will be a, a three on two. It looks like at the goal, just mi uh, missing the pass narrowly. Could have been a good look to tie it up again, uh, but instead a deep clear right past the also deep midfielder. Yeah, that one's all the way down into the bubble. Nobody there. JC3 got a good leash there off a of Lightful, so he picks that one up under a lot of pressure, so he gets a clear out there. That's, that's going to make it all the way down, all the way down, maybe near the bubble, not quite in, going to find its way to the near side wall. Machise is there to pick that one up. He has a lot of room to work with at the moment. 
a lot of pass call outs, but they can they can slow it down. They can calm it down right now. They're in control. Yeah. And they they have that uh they have that lead. So they can they can afford to uh to yeah, slow it down. Machis is doing exactly the right thing. Letting his team get into position. He's pulling that defense out. And uh, oh no, unfortunately on sound gets that interception, sending that one in. JC3 is there to pick it up. He has an opportunity. Bring it in. Oh, he gets stuffed and stopped. That one's gonna bounce out. On sound gets a hand on it. That one, he gets stuffed, and now Thunder Drifter with the clear. How wow. about that? That's exactly the defense you were just talking about in the, the last round as well. Playing off again, maybe even into a goal opportunity. Let's see. It's gonna be collected by Lightful. Lightful checking up high and looking for his teammates, but just decides to shoot it towards the goalies and kind of hits their knees with, with three players there. It won't be the opportunity that they wanted, but luckily uh, they'll still get it back thanks to that deep midfielder here, Thunder Drifter, really playing it safe, definitely not wanting to concede any threes, especially with only two and a half minutes left. Yeah, no, this one going to bounce dangerously near the goal. It's not at the floor there in the bubble. Going to be picked up by Most Calm, though, with, uh, with no issue. And so once again, he's going to take that same path. He really likes going uh, you know, along that left side bottom floor, but he gets a really good clear there. That one's going to get all the way down. Oh, dangerously close to the goal. Oh, man, that was close. As Light, Lightful is now going to pick this one up on the near side while Lightful sending that one across. Good pass center, most calm, most calm. Bringing it in, going to wow. do a hot, but a good grab there by Unsound. Although that clear is not going to get out. JC3 Live picking it up. He's going to move it away. Oh, that was a phenomenal grab there. Uh, fantastic, in fact, because that could have potentially been a dagger with less than two minutes left but lightful with the disc and here it goes the control again which you pointed out which twitch chat is pointing out you can see uh yolo man in there in fact the proud coach as that just uh barely misses but maybe another opportunity is gonna be had here as much cheese couldn't finish the Ooh. shot rebound here uh, on the trench by the trench by unsound and through to the midfield intercept yeah, Thunder Drifter holding down that back line. Oh, scuffs that pass. It is going to get slapped out now. And it happens to the best of us. Uh, oh, no. Oh, that one. <laughs> Those bounces. I cannot believe that didn't go in. That was so close. We're talking an inch there. An inch on the backboard. That was in. That was, that was wow, JC3 barely getting by that defender, sending that one, but that one going just wide. On sound, not looking for it. Lightful trying to get there. And uh, now picked up by Machise, who's going to get that cleared out. Less than a minute to go here. Still a two-point game. Yeah, and playing with some uh, backliners here. But I think for five guys, uh, this is kind of the, the point in time where they really need to be aggressive. I know they don't want any more goals to go through, but with uh, a thin front line like this, you're going to give underrated rookies much too many opportunities to just collect that disc right back. And with how controlled they, they've been, that's a dangerous thing to have that disc in their hands. So five guys need to really start pushing this up in these last 30 seconds. So yeah, uh, Machis handling that one. Maybe gonna get the ice here. No, opportunity. JC3 gonna get this cleared out. 24 seconds here. Down by two. This one's all the way down to the bubble. Goalie is not in the goal. Goalie's trying to get there. Thunder Drifter does get the hand on it. They couldn't get the chains there quick enough. 15 seconds. It's still in their zone. Most calm with it. Most calm. Try to send it out. Does get it out. He's gonna get it there to Lightful. Lightful's just gonna forward that one through, finding its way into the trap. Bouncing around. Seven seconds. It's gonna be uh, uh, on sound. No. Chaos Kai picking it up. Trying to send it in, but that's gonna be too little, too late. It will be round two underrated rookies they will be moving on and unfortunately five guys will be going home yeah and that will be the end indeed of this series here two round sweep going the way of underrated rookies uh, close second round lower scoring here uh, really in both rounds five to three now and uh, yeah just a nice job to underrated rookies five guys couldn't quite get their offense flowing especially through that mighty mighty tough defense yeah, that was uh, I mean, that was that was a uh, that was a really really good performance there by underrated rookies. Uh, this this five guys team is not bad. This uh, they, these were two very very good teams, uh, especially when you consider that all these players have been playing for less than three months, and uh, we got that trumpet out again. But uh, <laughs> uh, that that defensive performance by underrated rookies was it was that was incredible. That was a fantastic showing. That's the sort of defense that can carry you uh, deep deep into a tournament like. Like this and uh, potentially uh, if they continue on into VRML pretty far up the ladder I just want to say I, I can get behind the idea of pre-game and post-game trumpet uh, celebrations that's quite interesting you know in, in years and seasons past we've had the uh, Joker Joker karaoke which I, I think has since maybe stopped a little bit at least I haven't heard of it in a while but you know these these pre-game traditions and celebrations are quite interesting pre and post-game that is um, that said, we're going to move right along here. So for uh, everyone watching, stay tuned. We're going to go into a brief intermission. 
uh, and get on with the rest of the tournament here today and crown some winners in this uh, Quest 2 Rookie Cup. So thank you again for watching. Uh, thank you to our sponsors, Asterion Products and VR Community Builders. And uh, from VRML, we shall be back in a flash. All right, everyone, welcome back. See, so told you we wouldn't take uh, all too long. We are back in a flash indeed, so appreciate these teams for uh, getting on in here and, you know, ready to battle it out, continuing here in the lower bracket. We're approaching closer and closer. This is the uh, loser's bracket semifinal match, so it's same situation where it is, again, win or go home today. And as we uh, indeed approach now this the cusp, essentially, uh, of the top three, these, uh, these teams, these players, they're wanting to get it done, take home these uh, sweet prizes, which we showed from Asterion Products, as well as VR Community Builders, which I'll uh, even show for you again. And, yeah, thank you to them, and thank you to everyone for tuning in once more on the stream. I see Grim Foxy 9 with a follow, Sam Spaghetti as well, Grumpiest Broom subscribing uh, 15 minutes back with Tier 1 subscription. Thank you to Grumpy. Sorry to miss that uh, for a few. And, yeah, uh, awesome stuff there. As well as a uh, Shafru, Frau, Fru. Hopefully, I got that right. Thank you for the follow. And uh, for those who are not in the know, I am indeed Palador still, and I got Sir Dimwe here still. I do hope. Yeah, right here, yeah. ready to go. Uh, just wondering. Uh, God, I got nervous for a moment. <laughs> Some of the players started dropping out, but it looks like they're all returning. So we should be uh, good to go here uh, any moment. But yeah, very, very excited for this one. This is, uh, yeah, so we've got the Monstars versus Underrated Rookies 2.0. And the Monstars, uh, I mentioned it yesterday, that they are, uh, they were the first team to form and register right. uh, in the tournament. Uh, second only behind the generals who we will actually see next round uh they're waiting for the the, the outcome of this game and so the situation so where we are at currently in the bracket uh basically the loser of this game will be fourth place so they'll be one place out 
uh, from those top three places that are getting prizes. Excuse me. Uh, so that's that's kind of that's kind of what we have on the line here. Is this is this is the game before the bronze match. This is the game that if you lose this game, you're one place out yeah. from getting on that podium. And uh, so you know they're all feeling that pressure. You know they all want to get this win here. And uh, at the very least, this is you know this is one of those where you say, all right, if we can just get this victory here, I think I can walk away satisfied, even if we lose the next one. Yeah, figure, you know, cause it, it makes us we're in the top three, and that's that's pretty good. Figure, yeah, you you, you go home uh, with a little something either or. I mean, in, in general, I think uh, a lot of these teams, you know, regardless of where they place, they still impress very much. Uh, I mean, again, we saw you know five. Five guys in that last round. Unfortunately for them, uh, their journey on this tournament ended there against underrated rookies. Uh, and yet, they were still a team who definitely impressed yesterday and had some great showings. So, I mean, you know, these players definitely all fighting for their, their piece of that pie in the top three spots. But I think nothing else. There are some definite uh, players who have made names for themselves going forward. And uh, hopefully, very much so, hope, uh, hopefully we'll see them in VRML Season 3, which does start January 3rd. So... Uh, yeah, this is gonna be gonna be fun. Just a, another new wave of players uh, to impress. Quick correction: yes. January fourth. January fourth. Yes, yes. Did I say what third? You said yeah. You said third. Right. That's Sunday. Yes, yes. So yeah, not a big deal. Not a big, not an amazing <laughs> thing. It was basically right. Uh, just, just make it. Yeah, just if you're marking your calendars, January fourth, uh, your your matchups will come on that the the noon about noon EST of that Monday that day. All right, well, yeah, there you go. And January 4th, so new year, new season. It's going to be bigger and better than ever before. And uh, looking forward to that. So go register. It's free, and it's uh, available for all levels of skill and dedication in this game. Flexible everything uh, on the scheduling. And Otaku, the Woo! Dusty. Talk about flexing some muscles and now flexing some hustle. Oh there they oh go, my. but no, Ooh. doesn't get it through. Look, it's Thunder again. You know, I saw, I'm pretty sure I saw T-Tow do a similar thing to that yesterday as well. He, he likes to set up, like, right. He, he'll, he does that thing. It took, how long did it take some of us to, to start using our brakes? Right? You know what I mean? Like, nobody used to use their brakes, and now we see it commonly right in the bubble. You, you cut in, you hit that brake short, short of the goal, so the goalie can't actually get to you, so they can't leave the goal, and you're set up perfect for that setup. He, that's what T-Tow was doing there. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, but... It is now in the possession of Thunder Drifter for underrated rookies are setting up. They are very dangerous. They are, this is a dangerous job. Oh, did not see that coming. Otaku with the steal. Going to get this cleared out. We're going to have a race. And everyone getting kind of broken up as uh, the coach here just looks on from the tunnel. That's uh, Tammy. But, yeah, underrated rookies uh, getting back into the defense. You see Thunder in the goal with uh, some great Ooh. defense. But doesn't even need uh, him to be there because Lightful was there with some stuns, knocking uh, the lights out, I suppose, as Otaku recovers. Uh, Taco sending that one up to Toxic, but he had he was he was draped by uh, two blue players there, uh, so he had no time. That was kind of a, you know uh, when, when when I would send those out, I would call them uh, suicide passes. It's because you're sending it to someone who's about to get murdered. Uh, uh, but now it's going to be picked up there by ooh uh, uh, that was Machise sending that one up. Lifeful trying to uh, get the grab on that one, but unfortunately double stuns come out there, and now it is going to be the hands of Machise. Ultimately, Machise receiving his own pass under pressure. Oh, he gets stolen by Toxic. Toxic picking the pocket, sending that one right up to the ceiling there, and now Toxic recovering his own uh, send-up, and now Lightful with the seal going to get that one sent away, and all the way down into the Monstars bubble. Man, talked about Thunder and calling him Thor. Well, right now, it was just Brawlhalla over there in that tunnel. Uh, going to be lost on the disc, but rebound maybe. Nope. Will be much ease slapping it out as the recovery comes in from Otaku. Over to the bow tie, but nothing there but a gift wrap blue player. That said, it bounces a little bit too far out the reach, and now it's back into the clear as the boosts gather, but some missed re-grabs here on the Monstar's side uh, as grabbing it is most calm. <laughs> That's a second Dusty we've already seen in this game. We're only two and a half minutes in, and for anyone curious, Dusty is what if you have the disc and someone's coming at you and you just give them a little pop and stun them out. Uh, we got that name uh, from uh, the Aussies, from uh, Pamwow. Pamwow gave us that one, and uh, it's named after one of their uh, Australian Rails football players. Australian rules football players. <laughs> yeah. uh, his name is uh, Dusty, Dustin something. D uh, Dusty, I'm not sure who he is. Dusty Martin, I believe. I'm Dusty not... Martin, there you go. So, uh, that, that you know, it's a catchy little little thing. I mean, it sounds cool, so we just stuck with it. The inverse of that, of course, is where you let go of the disc and shield yourself uh, on a stun as a stunning Ooh. shot from Lightful goes in. 
And uh, yeah, great job for underrated rookies. They had the defense, now they made some offense happen. But to finish the thought though, uh, the, the inverse of that, the shielding yourself, let go of the disc and you shield the punch. That's the, the ender as it's referringly loved to, uh, refer, uh, refer, love, wow. It's lovingly referred to. I'm <laughs> dyslexic today, but uh, named of course after the offensive machine that is Ender, who you will actually see today in the Dunks and Half Courts Invitational over on the Subnation channel, which will be casted by us in a few hours. Yes, yeah, not long after uh, we finish this up, uh, in fact, as uh, oh, lifeful there to me. Jeez, and there's another one. Oh, from the, that was the same spot. That was from the exact same spot. Machi's gonna put that one in for the two underrated rookies. Find themselves up by four here, four minutes in, but still six minutes to go. I, I uh, like the comment there from Yolo Man in the Twitch chat saying, "Dude, they're literally better than me." <laughs> uh, of course, the the coach. I feel that pain. For I underrated feel that pain rookies, so hard. Uh, unable to be here for this match at the moment. So Tammy, also a member of the original underrated rookies, uh, coming in to sub. But yeah. Uh, Again, I, I kind of feel that as a caster sometimes, right? Like I had, I had my day, but at the same time, the player's now so uh -oh. Uh -oh. dang uh -oh. good. Oh, come on, come on, dude, what? And if it's not exemplified by just shots like that, by performances like that, I don't know what is. I don't even want to sit down for this one, man. I don't even want to sit down. I'm up. I'm up. Yeah, well, so so are they by seven, in fact. Underrated rookies putting on a show Woo! and Monstars trying to find some rhythm, but this is not an unusual thing because we oh. saw that from Five Guys as well where they just had trouble scoring against this incredible defense. There Ooh. it is again. Those stops and goal, you know, it's, it's when well, you make a stop like that, because he came out, he hit it with the, it was a headbutt. So a, a lot of folks will say, ah, oh, it's, it's a headbutt. He didn't do it on purpose. No, your head is part of your body and you don't have your chest in the game. So your head is all you have. And so it, it, you train yourself to position your head in that lane intentionally to sometimes get those quote unquote lucky headbutts. So they're, they are fully intentional. They are trained. It is a behavior you can get. It is something you can get better at, even if you feel like it's a lucky save. It, that, it, it, it's, it's yeah it's a skill and uh, that was a great stop by the goalie down there as they now finally get it down and into the monster zone so off of that stop off that defensive stop they have an opportunity but cheese oh another big stop big row gonna get that one sent out what a what a save yeah, the defense now being shown from Monstar's side of the floor. However, unfortunately for them, it gets still stuck on the orange side. So as Most Calm works it in, ducks through Ooh. on a light juke move. It will be recovered off the bounce on the wall where uh, two players now kind of chaining together and now breaking off for uh -oh. some offense as it gets broken up by Toxic. Yeah, that was an accidental uh, friendly headbutt there happens to the best of us. Yeah, so something else you have to train yourself uh, to, to kind of stay out of the way of your, your uh, teammate's shots if you're hanging on them. But now Otaku with an opportunity sending in the hook shot. What a play there by Otaku as he celebrates. You can see he's excited. Oh, yeah. That was absolutely phenomenal. Got the celebration. Saw some of that yesterday from Otaku. Goes back. Uh, to what we were saying about the physicality and the sport-like nature and how VR is so conducive to, uh, to these kind of things. You saw it earlier, even on the floor coaching, where you see players directing traffic, pointing out where to go and things like that. Uh, I love that part about Echo. Yeah, it's it's really, uh, yeah. Well, I love everything about Echo, <laughs> but I love that part too. <laughs> True. But this one cleared all the way down into that bubble there. Who's that going to be? Machis with it. Oh, Machis loves those shots. He loves that spot. That's his spot. He hit another one there. They're up by seven now with three minutes to go. So still not out of it, the Monstars. Still not out of it. There's still plenty of time here. Uh, seven goals. That's a hypothetically uh, hypothetical three goals. Uh, excuse me, it's seven points, hypothetically three goals. Mm -hmm. And with uh, under three minutes to go, it's, it's a tall order, but it's very possible if, uh, if they can kick it up here. And Monstars trying to uh, find some of that. MJ's special stuff, I suppose, and see if they can get it going. Thunder with some defense, but intercepted by Otaku, who's going to have the angles there to the shoulder. Toxic, though, kind of losing the handles on the anchor, Ooh. it looks like. So a uh, loss of disc briefly, and now missing the shot Ooh. was Otaku. And got to shout out Otaku because he's another one of those players who had some stellar, I mean, stellar performances yesterday. Oh, no, that's that's two dings in a row there. That that hurts uh, when, you're, when you're trying to make that. Oh, yeah, t -tail setting up for the sealable slam. Uh, unfortunately, pass doesn't quite make it to him, but uh, he was in a, he was in the, that position. He was ready for it. He wanted it. He wanted to plant that one in. I know, I you know, I, I've, I've started doing that recently because it does look fun. It is fun. 
And uh, so when I'm playing in games, I, if I get the opportunity, I love setting up right there in that spot that Silva loves so much, and he's known for hitting. And uh, T Tau trying to get one there, but no, it's going to be lifeful. Is that my oh? <laughs> if it wasn't for that block, that might have been it. Yeah, that pesky little island there just ruining the dreams of so many players in Echo over the years. As Most Calm receives it, tries to send it over to Much Ease, who has stunned out some nice defense now from Monstars uh, twice now, actually, to really make things tough on the recoveries for underrated rookies. So now Mitch Keys there, sending that one up. Nice, nice uh, disruption there by Otaku. Getting in that lane, slapping it away. But Mitch Keys does get it right back. Mitch Keys sending that one up to Most Calm. Most Calm now with it on the ceiling there, moving in. Under pressure, going to go to the backboard there. Oh, just out of the reach of the teammate. And Otaku, you, you, when Otaku, you can't let Otaku get anywhere near that disc. He does not miss him. He does not miss him. He gets a slap. He gets the grab. He gets the steals of the stuns. And now he has an opportunity. They're looking at a two-on-one of that chain. Doesn't get back here. They got two on one. T Tau and Otaku, a dangerous pair. Goalie oh, comes out to challenge. He gets it. Oh, what time? Otaku checks over his shoulder. Goalie comes out, gets a steal, slaps it back in. T Tau, four and all oh, just fine. Oh, wow. That's a heartbreaker there. Heartbreak Hotel trying to check in for another rebound, maybe another attempt, but it goes past the midfielder. So that is a really unfortunate missed opportunity, but that said, the clock is now winding down. There's 30 seconds left, and underrated rookies looking in position to capture another win here to make it three straight. Uh, actually, yeah, three going back into the, the last series as well. I mean, they are looking really in tune at the moment and making the opposition, I mean, in these both these matches, really, really tough time scoring on them. Yeah, they're playing this team. This underrated rookies team is playing exceptionally well, especially Otaku with a steal and a dusty setting us winning. That one's going to be a bit low, but it gets that flat bounce. Thunder trying to recover. He's trying to get there just out of reach, but that will be the end of round one there. And as you said, yeah, underrated rookies currently three rounds undefeated. That's their first round here against the Monstars. Uh, so they take, they do take round one here. But uh, yeah, this team is playing exceptionally well today. And I'd like to remind everybody, I mean, we, we ended up incidentally casting the Monstars three times yesterday. And we were talking about Otaku, T-Tau, uh, Toxic, and Big Rome, particularly Otaku and T-Tau right. a lot yesterday. And, and the fact that this underrated rookie's defense is making this so difficult for those guys says a lot about the, their their ability on defense here. This is uh, impressive. It, it does. That was one of the things we, I mentioned, uh, the team Ding, who uh, since has unformed and unraveled into other teams, granted, but it's a thing of, uh, you know, it happens in Echo, especially with 1,000 players plus in the competitive scene. But, I mean, Ding's defense, I recall, it shocked me. They were a rookie team, but, my goodness, were they s absolutely stellar from every – end of the floor i mean on point uh legitimately impressive and the thing is i'm the scary thing is we're seeing that from so many of these teams and players now uh normally at least in, in the past defense was a really difficult thing to grasp and and especially to do it quickly but now you're seeing individuals and teams actually implementing these defensive schemes and skills uh, at such a astounding rate i feel like oh they do it so fast now they get so good so fast it's it's amazing it's it's uh it, it's it makes me jealous yeah it took me two years to get to a competitive level and we're yeah. seeing got, uh, you know not just kids kids and adults people all, all people all ages all types alike uh just picking it up incredibly fast and now ooh. so that was the monsters winning that joust there but it turns right over to the underrated rookies, it's that defense. That defense is, is just so good here for underrated rookies, and it'll be most calm there on the far side picking it up. And sending it over to the midfield, so nice back pass there to just space up the floor and maybe get a little bit of a, a forward step on the defense. Instead, though, T Tau does take it over, send it through to the tunnel, bounces right back towards them. Uh, they're going to be able to recover this, it looks like, just barely in time, but the headbutt out, I think it was, from Lightful will uh, make it a little bit tough as T-Town now drives into the goal, but a lot of defense in that area and nowhere to go. You know, it looked like he was trying to uh, uh, do a bit of a juke off the ceiling there, push himself down and away, and he, he did that thing. You know, you get that push and you just don't move. Yeah. And uh, that's what it looked like to me. But now they're right back in possession, Otaku and T-Tau. I can hear Otaku telling T-Tau, all right, let's calm this down. Let's just uh, let, let's space it out. Let's uh, send this one in. They send it in, but they get stunned out. This one is, is loose there in that uh, underrated rookie zone. And uh, I was trying to look at my minimap. I didn't have a minimap for a moment there, but this one now going to bounce all the way down into the Monstars yeah. bubble. There's an opportunity here. Lightful coming in. Lightful taking the shot just wide. Also, I want to shout out JC3 Live as well as uh, 
Unsound saw them both there on the Twitch chat, giving compliments to underrated rookies on their performance earlier. And uh, great to see that sports sportsmanship. And yeah, definitely played a great game. And uh, same for five guys across both days. Still some very impressive players and matches on that team. So shout out to you guys. Good job. Yeah, no, I mean, just, yeah, it, 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 there are so many good players and good teams in this tournament. It's, 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 it make, like I said, it makes me jealous. It just makes me <laughs> jealous. Right. You know, it really does how good these guys are getting so fast. And, and it's, you can't, you know, it used to be, you, you could have been lazy back in the old Discord days and, and not worried about, you know, your teamwork and all that and, and still come out, you know, in the top three, maybe top five. But now you have to, you have to practice. You have to put the time in. Most call them opportunity. That one's going to go wide. But yeah, you know, these guys have been putting in the time. They, 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 they made the same discovery we all did. They, they fell in love with the game as we all did. And, uh, they want to be a part of it, and they are now. Well, most calm discovering another Dusty to maybe enable this shot, but look at that, the tip top of the reach. Big roam, not letting anything roam near his zone. Once again, that was a theme yesterday as well. Another one of the skilled goalies I talked about here that we've been seeing in this tournament. There's Big Rome again. Ooh. Oh, man, with a punch again to the opponent's Big Dome. And as it goes back to the blue side, uh, again, this, this match is frantic, and it's fun, and it's actually still scoreless in this round. Yeah, this one loose there around the bubble. Uh, that was Otaku trying to get there. Couldn't reach him. Machise uh, comes away with it. Machise with the soul clear all the way down. Gets away from Big Rome. So this one is loose with the goal. Well, goal was temporarily open. But now it's going to be Otaku on the far side there. Otaku with it. He is under pressure by Machise. T-Tal coming to give him some uh, some assistance there. And there's Otaku getting that clear all the way down into the underrated rookie zone. Going to... Bounce up into that sky trench there. Toxic trying to track it down. Does Toxic now with it? Oh, mishandles it. Somehow gets away with it, passing it in. T Tal is there. Oh, just out of reach, and it will be Machise getting it first and getting that one cleared out of the bubble. And shout out to Grumpiest Broom as well for the love. That your loveliest broom today, it seems like. Right back at you. And uh, trying to get back in position for this disc, they will get it. But a lot of clumping, Dimwi, as T Tal takes it away. Yeah, that's one of those habits. That's where you start start feeling stressed out. You need that goal or whatever. You start you're, you you can lead to, to a bit of clumping, and that's the, the sort of thing you really want to be conscious of all the time. Uh, if if you know you sh if there's two people there, there should only be two people there because you chained in. Otherwise, you you, you probably just want to go ahead and spread out. But now this one's going to bounce into that trap there, picked up by a taco. They're doing a good job of uh, keeping it in the zone, but they're, they're having difficulty maintaining possession in the zone. So once again, Lightful is going to get the grab there. Is this one going to get cleared out? Not quite. So it is staying in the zone. They are recovering it when it takes those bad bounces. They're just not able to get it through the bubble. Yeah, and really a lot of this clumping is still continuing. And one of the things definitely emphasize at times, uh, you know, even in the last Rookie Cup, and you see the, the rookies make a lot of progress on it, is just learning... Uh, at which points it's better to not clump all the time and, and, and instead offer a passing lane. So if you see, you know, you have one teammate near the disc about to go up against a defender or, you know, another player or two, instead of joining your teammate where it's just going to be a kind of random, you know, 50-50 brawl and the disc is going to go everywhere, instead say, okay, he has a chance at getting it, just like a shot from Ooh. Machise has a great chance of going yeah. in. But you got to say, you, finish it, yeah. you know, if he has a chance of getting it, I'm going to go to a position where I can receive a pass if he gets it. And that way we can slow it down and get some offense going. And I was just going to say something I've noticed. Machise, you cannot give Machise no. the disc <laughs> in the bubble below the goal. You can't. He's going to put it in every time. He has so far. That's another one. And that was, our, that was actually our first goal here of round two. Five minutes in. We were five minutes scoreless there, and it was mostly a, a, an offensive onslaught by the Monstars that the underrated rookies were just thwarting every time. And once again, we're seeing it again. They're setting up in the zone here. Although a nice read there by Most Calm is going to get a good clear out there. We're going to get a race for it. Chains, I can see, are getting together in the backfield there. Looks like it will be underrated rookies getting their first. Goal is open. They have Lightful there to recover just in case. And Machines is going to put it in for another two. They have now taken a four-point lead in the last minute was just four minutes to go. Even on that one, you, there's, a, there's a certain maturity to what they did just there. You, they got the disc recovery, and whereas it was open, the goal was open, they still kind of checked. They waited an extra you know, second for comms and for visibility to see. Maybe, maybe, I, I'm not saying they were, but I feel like they were probably considering maybe we can take a three. Uh, they looked, they saw, okay, well, no, we still we don't have enough time for a three, so now we're just going to calmly take the shot anyways. But it's decisions like that where even on an open goal, they're not necessarily... Uh, rush where some teams will just see it and, and kind of you know think oh treasure I'm gonna shoot immediately 
I also want to point out that uh, Taco pulled. There's another Dusty in this one. There's <laughs> there have been probably five or six in this game. We we're lucky to sometimes see one, and there have been multiple. And this one is Machi's another one. He is on fire right now. That's three in a row unanswered. Four underrated rookies at the hands of Machi's. Three minutes to go here. Six point lead. Yeah, but, but she is now can add him to the list uh, because we did not stream underrated rookies yesterday, but certainly, I mean, this whole team, super talented, but Machi is, uh, as far as the offense goes, he is very consistent. So I, I'm kind of adding him uh, again to the list. You got to add Thunder, of course, the defense, and now some offense oh from Toxic. Goodness. Wow. Huh. That was a shot. <laughs> that was a shot. I mean, that was not on accident. That was a shot. He saw his lane and he took the shot. That was that was fantastic. I got nothing. He, I got so much respect for that one. I really do. That was phenomenal. That was, you see, you know, you don't often, that is such a, a, a I would call that a low, low scoring potential area. That angle is so steep, especially off the backboard. And he took it. And he took it and he made it. That was phenomenal. And that was a three. Monstars cut that lead in half. It's six to three here as we get a, a pause. And uh, get to inspect, maybe try to find out what's going on here. Yeah, we'll see uh, what's going on on that one. I mean, now it's it's a very close game. Uh, 2.42 left. Underrated rookies trying to remain perfect on the day. If they win this one, that'd be four, uh, four rounds in a row, going back to that last series. But Monstars not going to make it easy. Uh, same thing as Five Guys, how uh, we, we streamed them yesterday and we noted how impressive they were. Monstars also, like you mentioned, we streamed a few times yesterday, uh, as chance would have it. And same thing, uh, they showed up on a lot of those matches with some stellar scoring performances. So the fact that back-to-back, -back, anyway, that Underrated Rookies has been able to hold these actually really high-scoring teams uh, is, again, a testament to some of that defense being played. But anything could happen in the next 2.30. Yeah, absolutely. Anything can happen as we get uh, Lifo here handling this one, and they come out slowly. They really want to pull that defense out. They want to force the Monstars to come to them. That is some, uh, that's high level play. That is that is strategy that took a long time to develop in the 4v4 meta. But Otaku with a quick turnover, sending that one in, going to bounce off the shield. They're going to be picked up by Machis. Oh no, Toxic picking the pocket, taking a shot, and that one actually dings off the bottom side of the goal. There it will be picked up by T Town now. T Town, he gets stunned out. And uh, now cleared out there by Machis into that far side tube where they will chain down to pick that one up and forward it further in. Machis is there. Uh oh, opportunity. Machis one on one. He's going to plant it for the two. And they are back up by five now. Machis again. Is that, what, three in a row, I think, for Machis uh, on the scoring line over the last few minutes? So, yet again, very, very consistent anywhere inside that bubble, it would seem. Uh, on the Monsters side, again, having some chances, not able to finish, unfortunately. One thing I am impressed by by the monsters. Uh -oh. That being said, as they do still get the disc here, uh, I do like their stacks, especially I think T. Uh, who was it? Uh, T. Tau and Otaku, I believe. They've both actually been pretty yeah. on top of the stacks. I've been uh, kind of eyeing that the last several minutes, and uh, yeah, they do a good job there. Yeah, they I mean, they they really do. It's clear they've been practicing. I mean, it's really it's obvious to me that. Uh, both these teams have been practicing, literally, literally drilling, practicing plays, talking stuff out, talking theory, uh, uh, all of it. It's 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 it's, just, it's pain. It's just it's plainly obvious to me that they have been putting in so much time. Both these teams, and I, I mean, there's a reason they've gone this deep into the tournament. Here is look at this. See, look at this pass sequence. Look at this. How long did it take us? Yeah. How long did it take us, Palador? This is amazing. This is some fantastic stuff right now. I love it because they know they got the time on their side. Now Ooh. that said, an important turnover, but 30 seconds left. I mean, that shot isn't on. It's a little bit too much to the left. So now they're going to need to find those stacks. But the time just about winding down on them for the day as it's going to be taken away by much ease. Yeah, much ease sending that one into that trap there. t is there to get actually Otaku come away with it. Otaku now with it. Otaku's trying to send that one to the shoulder, but just a good read there by Most Calm. And that's what's it? That's that defense. That's that defense right there. It's not all about goal. You know, it's it's about reading those lanes and uh, a bit of a headbutt there as we count down to the end of this one. And this will be as one final shot there. Thunder, uh, Thunder Drifter with one final save. Round two does come to a close. Underrated rookies are now undefeated four rounds. They do take this game over the stars into and uh, in convincing fashion i mean that was very well played it's that defense man that defense is unreal and the machis 
he, you just give him an opportunity, he's putting it in. And uh, this, this has just been a phenomenal performance by underrated rookies. Yeah, and uh, as I say that, I mean, oh, I should put some respect on their name because I misspelled it on the, there you go. It didn't happen. Anyway, that being said, uh, underrated rookies with two R's, they're now the undefeated rookies still. And we'll, we'll see if that continues on the trend now. I mean, no matter what, uh, then we, I do believe uh, they've secured that top slot, top three slot, I should say. Yeah, guaranteed. Uh, they are guaranteed. Uh, the uh, underrated rookies are now guaranteed to get something. Uh, it's up to them what they get, uh, how far up they get up uh, on that uh, that podium. But uh, yeah, they are they are guaranteed to at least get that uh, the, the controller skins or the uh, twenty dollar uh, gift card. Uh, actually, the three teams that are remaining uh, are in that same position. So it's going to be uh, underrated rookies. So next, it'll be underrated rookies versus generals. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, after that, it'll be whoever wins that versus Revolt in the uh, the grand final. So, yeah, those three teams are guaranteed to get something today. The Generals, Underrated Rookies, yeah. and Revolt. And uh, it's just up to them. It's a matter of uh, who wins what. Uh, it's going to determine who gets what. And I'm uh, very excited to find out uh, who is going to get what. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, fantastic for them. Continuing to impress, seeing if they can stick with that streak going up against a very tough matchup in Generals for sure coming up next. So once again, we are going to take just a uh, ideally very brief intermission and get resettled and come right back at you with the continuation. Uh, this is going to be the third place match next coming up uh, for the in the lower brackets. So, uh, But no matter what, yeah, these prizes you see on screen from Asterion Products and VR Community Builders, thanks to them, uh, at least guaranteed for all the, the teams remaining here today. So that said, we shall be right back. Don't go anywhere.